of it. I like to describe it as um, hitching your wagon to our train because we know where we're going. We've got a solution. Mm. We've had a solution for a long time. At the moment, pe most people are still Australian citizens and they, re they don't realise that they have the ability to become tribal as well and not give up their citizenship. And mm. um, from that perspective, it's, it's, um, it's been mind-blowing to see the, the potential that we've got now in attracting people like you it literally is that we we are people are being drawn to us that can add and um, um like-minded people yeah, you're add, looking add to our energy that's yeah. exactly right yeah. add to our concept add yeah. to everything that goes with yeah. it so yeah. by adhering to that structure um every, everything just flows everything will come together properly it's not like your normal development where it's you know, it's, it's based purely on greed and I, me, 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 my, me. It's based on the concept of sharing and jointly owning and jointly being a part of everything. Yeah. You need people that have actually got a bit of forward sight, a bit of vision, um, can see what can happen and are happy to work together as a community, you know. Um, You're on the same page. Yeah. yeah, simple as that. Yeah. Mm, wouldn't that be funny if that went through? Um, yeah, technically possible. Um, yeah, I, it, it's disastrous for us in, in the sense of cash flow. That's what fucks us um, in every other way. Well, you know, you know boo fucking who? Um, the property's in liquidation, voluntary administration, receivership, <coughs> whatever we throw it into. Um, yeah, it's um, it just gets wound up in a fire sale. I mean, again, if you want to watch one of my skills, um, which was, you know, fucking people over and making sure, as the lender, I never lost a cent. Um, I was really good at that shit. Well, this is what we're essentially going to be doing here, and I'll make sure I fuck everyone over on the way through, particularly Mary Lou and Nicole now. So um, our hand has been forced. I mean, what, what? <laughs> there's no choice. It's not like we have an option. It's, you know, we didn't want to go this Mount way. They have forced in, our hand. I can see the South going Wales. We are um, treaty members of the Minjunbul tribe, which, which, which brings the sovereignty aspect of the um of the land of the continent of the of the people the, the custodians who have been here for 50,000 years tribal law still exists on this land it has existed on this land from time immemorial and the the reality is that just because the the british turned up and stuck the stick in the ground come through from melissa hirsch um yeah fuck it we're just going to um go hard now and I think a class action uh, with Morris Blackburn and those sorts of things so um, well, I think it's probably the the way to go and just basically smash her now just smash her from every angle and go hard on whatever losses are, um, are realized for the sale of the property then we need to crack um, have a crack at her insurer for any of those losses as well so we'll just tie her up in, in litigation now forever um, we need to do probably the VA pretty pretty quickly. I would have thought it'd just tip it over on. Um, but uh, without him, you know, none of us would have this opportunity. We would simply be with the rest of people looking for some type of solution or something to get away from what is coming our way. And it's, you know, it's 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 never going back to the way it was. It is all about change, changing our paradigm and changing what we do, and having people that that can see things that we, you know, uh, potentially are, are un unable to see for whatever reason and you know surrounding ourselves with those people Gunham, Max Egan you know it's a very different world that we're living in so I'm um, extremely blessed and grateful to have been given this given this opportunity by the universe and to meet the people that we've done and this is this just grows exponentially I've spoken to pretty much every single one of you for many hours and I'm just so pleased um on Wednesday after we speak with everyone on Thursday um yeah there's there's you know it's it's really the only option for um for the director there's no chance of selling anything um it's going to get really fucking ugly with um <clears throat> the likes of Alan Bartlett and stuff um I guess we could tip his money into the commercial and you know just give him a share certificate and that and say well we'll sell you out of this one don't stress and um, we can say, listen, your money is in Bulla Bulla, but it's caught in there now. But listen, we want to honour that. We'll put your money over here. We'll give you a certificate so you've got something for you as an asset um, for your money. And then we'll, we'll honour that and um, buy him out within the first sale, inverted commas. Obviously, first sale's coming back to Mark and Kaz first. And, um, you know, it can go from there. So, um, cash flow, though, that's, that's our issue. Like, you know, we've got rent on the office next week. We've got 
no wages, it's yeah, that's what's going to kill us, and that's where we will fall over. So um, we have to we have to work out what to do there. That's going to be a big issue. Um, if PBL is a, is crucial, absolutely crucial. So we need to um, to secure that land tomorrow, come hell or high water, and sign it, and then um, see Peter won't learn too much about anything because the caveat's been lodged. So. Um, you know, unless someone's out there spruiking about it, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really mean anything. I mean, in 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 the bigger picture, it's taking a step back. You go, well, fuck. What's the biggest issue? Oh, well, boo hoo hoo. You all tipped in for property. It fucking it fell over. You don't like each other. You got to sell it to get out, and you're going to make losses. Yeah. Next, that's what happens in property development. You know, um, so the the they're going to sue us and want the share certificates. Fine. There's your share certificates. Now sell them up. Either way, it's involuntary administration. The administrator can issue the share certificates, put it back to him. So he'll be the one that chases the um, 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 the PI insurance of, of, of Robert and Nicole. So we'll just go to them and we'll just turn them on to um, Robert and Nicole and that's it. So yeah, it's just gonna go from there. Um, yeah, but they want money. They're gonna want five or 10,000 bucks as well. Um, so we're gonna need PVL really is the cash flow. And then, you know, don't forget we've got Tyler's um, Tyler's thing. We, you know, we <laughs> literally we will be in voluntary administration with our first development, and we're selling the second one. So on stage, I don't know how we're going to get around that one. So yeah, there's a few issues we need to have a discussion about on Tuesday. Um, I'm trying to get Gunham to the land. Well, I was um, maybe PVL. We'll go to the PVL land tomorrow. So Gunham and um, Zoltan and I are going to be down there tomorrow. So, you know what, I I'd, I think they're ideal to have this discussion. So maybe we do have a crisis meeting tomorrow at, um, you know, the, the UKI pub after, um, you know, Zoltan, Gunnam and I can meet for an hour or two. I don't think it's going to take that long. Um, then maybe we all converge there um, and have lunch. What do you reckon? And then we can have the crisis meeting tomorrow, but we can actually have it with Zoltan and, and Gunnam in, in the midst of it. And, you know, Gunnam, is, is an amazing legal mind, and this is the sort of this is the sort of shit I want to see him. Um, yeah, see where he goes with it. So, let me know your thoughts. Sorry for the long voxer. I'm thinking as I walk and talk, and now I'm going to smoke. Through um, an enormous amount of, of, of torment and um, tor turmoil that's been created by, in particular, one one person. Um, I won't name that particular person for this. Act. Wouldn't that be funny if that went through? Um, yeah, technically possible. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's disastrous for us in, in the sense of cash flow. That's what fucks us um, in every other way. Well, you know, you know, boo fucking who. Um, the property's in liquidation, voluntary administration, receivership, <coughs> whatever we throw it into. Um, yeah, it's um, it just gets wound up in a fire sale. I mean, again, if you want to watch one of my skills, um, which was, you know, fucking people over and making sure as the lender I never lost a cent. Um, I was really good at that shit. Well, this is what we're essentially going to be doing here and I'll make sure I fuck everyone over on the way through, particularly Mary Lou and Nicole now. So um, our hand has been forced. I mean, what, what, <laughs> there's no choice. It's not like we have an option. It's, you know, we didn't want to go this way. They have forced our hand. I can see an email's come through from the Supreme Court of New South Wales and finds numerous judgments against her you'll find that there's a um an existing injunction or 86 of them against this particular person that prohibits her from saying the things the lies that she's been telling but the reality was as as there has been one naysayer from the very beginning of this project and it through from melissa hirsch Ooh, um yeah fuck it we're just gonna um go hard now and i think a class action uh, with Morris Blackburn and those sorts of things. So um, well, I think it's probably the the way to go and just basically smash her now, just smash her from every angle and go hard on whatever losses are, um, are realised for the sale of the property, then we need to crack, um, have a crack at her insurer for any of those losses as well. So we'll just tie her up in, in litigation now forever. Um, we need to do probably the VA pretty, pretty quickly. I would have thought I'd just tip it over on... Um, forward the community that the people that are here that want to operate and how this actually goes 
is the governance is handled within the shareholders agreement, the actual day to day, the operation, how you go, you know, what you do with, with gates and, um, you know, loose cows and other things that is developed, not unlike what we've done with, with this particular person is we've taken hold of all of the legacy issues that we've had. We've brought it all together as an, as a learning experience and we've actually tightened up every area of the business of what will be this community to the point that we've had many years of, of contemplating um, every angle of the bylaws and the, the legal structure to get to the point that we are so happy with where we're at and incorporating that with the cultural protocols. Which um, on Wednesday, after we speak with everyone on Thursday, um, yeah, there's, there's, you know, it's, it's really the only option for, um, for the director. There's no chance of selling anything. Um, it's going to get really fucking ugly with um, <clears throat> the likes of Alan Bartlett and stuff. Um, I guess we could tip his money into the commercial and, you know, just give him a share certificate and that and say, well, we'll sell you out of this one, don't stress. And um, we can say, listen, your money is in Bulla Bulla, but it's caught in there now. But listen, we want to honour that. We'll put your money over here. We'll give you a certificate so you've got something for you as an asset um, for your money and then we'll, we'll honour that and buy him out. Within the first sale, inverted commas, and obviously first sales come back to Mark and Kaz first, and um, you know it can go from there. So um, cash flow, though, that's that's our issue. Like you know, we're at rent on the office next week. We've got no wages. It's yeah, that's what's going to kill us, and that's where we will fall over. So um, we have to we have to work out what to do there. That's going to be a big issue. Um, if PBL is, a, is crucial, absolutely crucial. So we need to um, to secure that land tomorrow, come hell or high water and sign it. And then, um, see, Peter won't learn too much about anything because the caveat's been lodged. So um, you know, unless someone's out there spruiking about it, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really mean anything. I mean, in, 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 in the bigger picture, it's taking a step back. You go, well, fuck, what's the biggest issue? Oh, well, Boo hoo hoo, you all tipped in for property, it fucking it fell over, you don't like each other, you've got to sell it to get out and you're going to make losses. Yeah, next, that's what happens in property development, you know. Um, so the, the, they're going to sue us and want the share certificates, fine, there's your share certificates, now sell them up. Either way, it's involuntary administration. The administrator can issue the share certificates, we'll put it back to him. So he'll be the one that chases the um, 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 the PI insurance of, of, of Robert and Nicole. So we'll just go to them and we'll just turn them on to um, Robert and Nicole and that's it. So, yeah, it's just going to go from there. Um, yeah, but they want money. They're going to want five or 10,000 bucks as well. Um, so we're going to need PVL really is the cash flow. And then, you know, don't forget, we've got Tyler's, um, Tyler's thing. We, you know, we <laughs> literally, we will be in voluntary administration with our first development and we're selling the second one. So on stage, I don't know how we're going to get around that one. So yeah, there's a few issues we need to have a discussion about on Tuesday. Um, I'm trying to get Gunham to the land, well I was, um, maybe PVL, we'll go to the PVL land tomorrow. So Gunham and um, Zoltan and I are gonna be down there tomorrow. So you know what, I I'd, I think they're ideal to have this discussion. So maybe we do have a crisis meeting tomorrow at um, you know the, the Ukai pub after um, you know Zoltan, Gunham and I can meet for an hour or two. I don't think it's gonna take that long. Um, then maybe we all converge there um, and have lunch. What do you reckon? And then we can have the crisis meeting tomorrow, but we can actually have it with Zoltan and, and Gunham in, in the midst of it. And, you know, Gunham is, is an amazing legal mind. And I, this, is the sort of, this is the sort of shit I want to see him, um, yeah, see where he goes with it. So let me know your thoughts. Sorry for the long boxer. I'm thinking as I walk and talk and now I'm going to smoke. You are, um, you know, you're, you're an owner of everything that the, 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 the community owns, uh, the company owns. So yeah that's the uh that's this is the first part of the village yeah it's just up here on the left about 10 meters okay for perspective as far as orientation goes that's um sphinx rock is what it's known locally as and it is uh, purportedly the um the largest rose quartz crystal on the earth Wouldn't that be funny if that went through? Um, yeah, technically possible. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's disastrous for us in, in the sense of cash flow. That's what fucks us um, in every other way. Well, you know, you know boo fucking who. Um, the property's in liquidation, voluntary administration, receivership, <coughs> whatever we throw it into. Um, 
yeah, it's um, it just gets wound up in a fire sale. I mean, again, if you want to watch one of my skills, um, which was you know fucking people over and making sure as the lender I never lost a cent, um, I was really good at that shit. Well, this is what we're essentially going to be doing here, and I'll make sure I fuck everyone over on the way through, particularly Mary Lou and Nicole now. So, um, our hand has been forced. I mean, what what? <laughs> There's no choice. It's not like we have an option. It's, you know, we didn't want to go this way. They have forced our hand. I can see an emails come through from Melissa Hirsch. Ooh, um, yeah, fuck it. We're just going to um, go hard now. And I think a class action uh, with Morris Blackburn and those sorts of things. So um, well, I think it's probably the, the way to go and just basically smash her now, just smash her from every angle and go hard on whatever losses of... Um, realise for the sale of the property, then we need to crack, um, have a crack at her insurer for any of those losses as well. So we'll just tie her up in, in litigation now forever. Um, we need to do probably the VA pretty pretty quickly. I would have thought I'd just tip it over on um, on Wednesday after we speak with everyone on Thursday. Um, yeah, there's there's you know it's it's really the only option for um, for the director. There's no chance of selling anything. Um, it's going to get really fucking ugly with um, <clears throat> the likes of Alan Bartlett and stuff. Um, I guess we could tip his money into the commercial and, you know, just give him a share certificate and that and say, well, we'll sell you out of this one, don't stress. And um, we can say, listen, your money is in Bulla Bulla, but it's caught in there now. But listen, we want to honour that. We'll put your money over here. We'll give you a certificate so you've got something for you as an asset um, for your money and then we'll, we'll honour that and buy him out. Within the first sale, inverted commas, obviously first sales come back to Mark and Kaz first and, um, you know, it can go from there. So um, cash flow, though, that's that's our issue. Like, you know, we've got rent on the office next week. We've got no wages. It's yeah, That's what's going to kill us and that's where we will fall over. So um, we have to we have to work out what to do there. That's going to be a big issue. Um, if PBL is, a, is crucial, absolutely crucial. So we need to um, to secure that land tomorrow, come hell or high water and sign it. And then, um, see, Peter won't learn too much about anything because the caveat's been lodged. So um, you know, unless someone's out there spruiking about it, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really mean anything. I mean, in, 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 in the bigger picture, it's taking a step back. You go, well, fuck, what's the biggest issue? Oh, well... Boo hoo hoo! You all tipped in for property. It fucking it fell over. You don't like each other. You got to sell it to get out, and you're going to make losses. Yeah. Next, that's what happens in property development. You know, um, so the the they're going to sue us and want the share certificates. Fine. There's your share certificates. Now sell them up. Either way, it's involuntary administration. The administrator can issue the share certificates. We'll put it back to him. So he'll be the one that chases the um, 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 the PI insurance of, of of Robert and Nicole. So we'll just go to them. And we'll just turn them on to um, Robert and Nicole, and that's it. So, yeah, it's just going to go from there. Um, yeah, but they want money. They're going to want five or ten thousand bucks as well. Um, so we're going to need PVL really as the cash flow. And then, you know, don't forget we've got Tyler's um, Tyler's thing. We, you know, we <laughs> literally we will be in voluntary administration with our first development, and we're selling the second one. So on stage, I don't know how we're going to get around that one. So yeah, there's a few issues we need to have a discussion about on Tuesday. Um, I'm trying to get Gunham to the land, well I was, um, maybe PVL, we'll go to the PVL land tomorrow. So Gunham and um, Zoltan and I are going to be down there tomorrow. So you know what, I I'd, I think they're ideal to have this discussion. So maybe we do have a crisis meeting tomorrow at, um, you know, the, the UKI pub after, um, you know, Zoltan, Gunham and I can meet for an hour or two. I don't think it's going to take that long. Um, then maybe we all converge there um, and have lunch. What do you reckon? And then we can have the crisis meeting tomorrow, but we can actually have it with Zoltan and, and Gunham in, in the midst of it. And, you know, Gunham is, is an amazing legal mind. And this is the sort of this is the sort of shit I want to see him, um, yeah, see where he goes with it. So let me know your thoughts. Sorry for the long boxer. I'm thinking as I walk and talk and now I'm going to smoke. Of the views that a majority of the northerly facing sites will have on their outlook. So you're after, yeah. you mentioned what happened before, didn't you? Yeah, uh, it looks like a good spot to live. 
there are more dams planned for us to do smaller dams in the area so that we actually have access to contain the water and to capture it and use it for uh, irrigation all the other mm. sorts of things but in particular this this is an amazing community space we want to keep the waterways the dams for kids to come down and swim um, there's, a, there's a slide that in summertime they put um, a tarp down there and shoot off and they jump into the water and okay. stuff so this is That'd be fantastic. for us and then mm. the other existing dam on there will always remain part of the community to, to access come down there you know our intention is to have canoes and all mm. of the water stuff down um, you know activities down here for people to come and just hang just enjoy it's it's, it's all our property you know yeah it's fantastic hey. Mm, wouldn't that be funny if that went through? Um, yeah, technically possible. Um, yeah, I, it, it's disastrous for us in, in the sense of cash flow. That's what fucks us um, in every other way. Well, you know, you know boo fucking who. Um, the property's in liquidation, voluntary administration, receivership, <coughs> whatever we throw it into. Um, yeah, it's um, it just gets wound up in a fire sale. I mean, again, if you want to watch one of my skills, um, which was, you know, fucking people over and making sure, as the lender, I never lost a cent. Um, I was really good at that shit. Well, this is what we're essentially going to be doing here, and I'll make sure I fuck everyone over on the way through, particularly Mary Lou and Nicole now. So um, our hand has been forced. I mean, what, what? <laughs> there's no choice. It's not like we have an option. It's, you know, we didn't want to go this way. They've forced our hand. I can see an email's come through from Melissa Hirsch. Ooh, um, yeah, fuck it. We're just going to... Um, in the city where you just put it into the sewer and it just disappears and goes out into the ocean and you know oh well too bad so sad it stays on your country and you own all of the country and it will eventually it ends up in here so it's a long way down it's a long way down yeah. so how, how high would you reckon we up from that to the creek level too high to walk yeah <laughs> so it could be as deep as 50 feet in there at the moment it's a very very deep and mm. it's a massive amount of water and it's a kilometer long Mm. So as far as firefighting and other bits and pieces to win it, but swimming, canoeing, kayaking, coming down with your family, having, you know, um, not the old style, um, you know, like the, the things in Melbourne, but ha imagine having these sorts of cabins set up that you open up and they've got all of the water equipment in there and people mm. can come down, have a lifesaver on uh, duty down here, you know, just, like literally someone gets employed to come down and be a lifesaver. Oh, I don't know, just getting out. Go hard now, and I think a class action. Uh, with Morris Blackburn and those sorts of things. So um, well, I think it's probably the the way to go and just basically smash her now, just smash her from every angle and go hard on whatever losses are, um, are realised for the sale of the property, then we need to crack, um, have a crack at her insurer for any of those losses as well. So we'll just tie her up in, in litigation now forever. Um, we need to do probably the VA pretty, pretty quickly. I would have thought I'd just tip it over on... Um, on Wednesday after we speak with everyone on Thursday. Um, yeah, there's, there's, you know, it's, it's really the only option for... We're begrudgingly having um, to do it just because the they're getting paid. There's no chance The of people that actually anything. move on to the farm, the people that love horses, that want to look after horses, it's all they do. Well, the company, when those positions become available, will pay people to do it. So when you move here, you actually have the ability to get a job in, in, in an area of your life that you just have always loved. You always yeah. want to do that, you know? And then you're feeling useful, you're part of the community. And again, it's on an enormous size farm as we are right now, let alone of the other properties. From our perspective, it's a total way of life. You come up here, yeah. we, we want to be uh, self-sufficient and independent and, and, and no, don't need the state. That doesn't mean don't interface and interact with the matrix. It doesn't mean give up your citizenship. It doesn't mean any of that. So the thing is, there's been people who have been objecting to the project and what they've done by stalling things is... Anything. Um, it's going to get really fucking ugly with um, <clears throat> the likes of Alan Bartlett and stuff. Um, I guess we could tip his money into the commercial and, you know, just give him a share certificate and that and say, well, we'll sell you out of this one, don't stress. And um, we can say, listen, your money is in Bulla Bulla, but it's caught in there now. But listen, we want to honour that. We'll put your money over here. We'll give you a certificate so you've got something for you as an asset um, for your money. And then we'll, we'll honour that and buy him out within the first sale, inverted commas. And obviously, first sales come back to Mark and Kaz first. And, um, you know, it can go from there. So, um, cash flow though, that's, that's our issue. Like, you know, we've got rent on the office next week. We've got no wages. It's, yeah, that's what's going to kill us. And that's where we will fall over. So, um, we have to, we have to work out what to do there. That's going to be a big issue. Um, 
if PBL is, a, is crucial, absolutely crucial. So we need to um, to secure that land tomorrow, come hell or high water and sign it. And then, um, see, Peter won't learn too much about anything because the caveat's been lodged. So um, you know, unless someone's out there spruiking about it, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really mean anything. I mean, in in in, in the bigger picture, it's taking a step back. You go, well, fuck, what's the biggest issue? Oh, well, boo hoo hoo, you all tipped in for property, it fucking it fell over, you don't like each other, you got to sell it to get out and you're going to make losses. Yeah, next, that's what happens in property development, you know. Um, so the, the they're going to sue us and want the share certificates, fine, there's your share certificates, now sell them up. Either way, it's involuntary administration. The administrator can issue the share certificates, put it back to him. So he'll be the one that chases the um, 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 the PI insurance of, of, of Robert and Nicole. So we'll just go to them and we'll just turn them on to um, Robert and Nicole and that's it. So yeah, it's just going to go from there. Um, yeah, but they want money. They're going to want five or 10,000 bucks as well. Um, so we're going to need PVL really is the cash flow. And then, you know, don't forget we've got Tyler's, um, Tyler's thing. We, you know, we <laughs> literally, we will be in voluntary administration with our first development and we're selling the second one. So on stage, I don't know how we're going to get around that one. So yeah, there's a few issues we need to have a discussion about on Tuesday. Um, I'm trying to get Gunnam to the land. Well, I was, um, maybe PVL, we'll go to the PVL land tomorrow. So Gunnam and, um, Zoltan and I are going to be down there tomorrow. So, you know what, I I'd, I think they're ideal to have this discussion. So maybe we do have a crisis meeting tomorrow at, um, you know, the, the UKI pub after, um, you know, Zoltan, Gunnam and I can meet for an hour or two. I don't think it's going to take that long. Um, then maybe we all converge there um, and have lunch. What do you reckon? And then we can have the crisis meeting tomorrow, but we can actually have it with Zoltan and, and Gunnam in, in the midst of it. And, you know, Gunnam is, is an amazing legal mind. And I, this is the sort of this is the sort of shit I want to see him, um, yeah, see where he goes with it. So let me know your thoughts. Sorry for the long voxer. I'm thinking as I walk and talk and now I'm going to smoke. Company or community, whichever way you look at it, both are, are um, the same. Um, uh, the person come in and um, then, the, of course, the, um, uh, the developers, every deal we've done is like a win, 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 win situation. And then, yeah, things are falling into place, uh, access to water and stuff like that. That's all, it's all coming together now. You've got the shops up the road and yeah. that sort of stuff. Exactly. Uh, Our interface with the matrix, we have that ability to have access to our service station or the, the general store or the cafe or the caravan park and the bottle shop. and. The, the plans are to expand way more than, than what they are currently. As we grow as a community, then exponentially that will grow. And You can see how that can thrive. And we all are dependent on, on each other as a community and yeah. not dependent in the way, but the, you have the need to, to want to join in and be part of that, feel useful. There's something everyone could do. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. So that's the amphitheatre and the Yudaki principles. It's, it's from from that perspective. Everything that we've been taught has a dual meaning. There is there is many layers of their of their language that that they know about, <clears throat> and and it's something that Gunnam Barty speaks about a lot. Is is the 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 hidden meanings behind words. I mean, Aboriginal. Are they original or are they Aboriginal? Are you normal or am I abnormal? How does that work? And you put those two words together and it's hidden in plain sight. Do you recognise yourself as being tribal or Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander or Indigenous? Indigenous of no race. It, it's all in the, it's hidden in plain sight, set to deceive. And it's also set on an energetic level to, 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 to do harm. I mean, if you keep saying, you know, you're Aboriginal to someone and they then, yes, I'm Aboriginal, that's a negative reinforcement of a, of a, of an idea or a concept given to them by their masters, by their rulers, by the conquerors. Mm, wouldn't that be funny if that went through? Um, yeah, technically possible. Um, yeah, I, it, it's disastrous for us in, in the sense of cash flow. That's what fucks us um, in every other way. Well, you know, you know, boo fucking who. Um, the property's in liquidation, voluntary administration, receivership, <coughs> whatever we throw it into. Um, yeah, it's um, it just gets wound up in a fire sale. I mean, again, if you want to watch one of my skills, um, which was you know fucking people over and making sure, as the lender, I never lost a cent. Um, I was really good at that shit. Well, this is what we're essentially going to be doing here, and I'll make sure I fuck everyone over on the way through, particularly Mary Lou and Nicole now. So, um, 
our hand has been forced. I mean, what, what, <laughs> there's no choice. It's not like we have an option. It's, you know, we didn't want to go this way. They've forced our hand. I can see an emails come through from Melissa Hirsch. Ooh, um, yeah, fuck it. We're just going to um, go hard now. And I think a class action uh, with Morris Blackburn and those sorts of things. So um, well, I think it's probably the, the way to go and just basically smash her now, just smash her from every angle and go hard on whatever losses of, um, are realised for the sale of the property, then we need to crack, um, have a crack at her insurer for any of those losses as well. So we'll just tie her up in, in litigation now forever. Um, we need to do probably the VA pretty pretty quickly. I would have thought I'd just tip it over on, um, on Wednesday after we speak with everyone on Thursday. Um, yeah, there's, there's, you know, it's, it's really the only option for, um, for the director. There's no chance of selling anything. Um, it's going to get really fucking ugly with um, <clears throat> the likes of Alan Bartlett and stuff. Um, I guess we could tip his money into the commercial and, you know, just give him a share certificate and that and say, well, we'll sell you out of this one, don't stress. And um, we can say, listen, your money is in Bulla Bulla, but it's caught in there now. But listen, we want to honour that. We'll put your money over here. We'll give you a certificate so you've got something for you as an asset um, for your money and then we'll, we'll honour that and buy him out within the first sale, inverted commas, and obviously first sales come back to Mark and Kaz first and, um, you know, it can go from there. So um, cash flow, though, that's that's our issue. Like, you know, we've got rent on the office next week. We've got no wages. It's, yeah, that's what's going to kill us and that's where we will fall over. So um, we have to we have to work out what to do there. That's going to be a big issue. Um, if PBL is, a, is crucial, absolutely crucial. So we need to um, to secure that land tomorrow, come hell or high water and sign it. And then, um, see, Peter won't learn too much about anything because the caveat's been lodged. So um, you know, unless someone's out there spruiking about it, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really mean anything. I mean, in, 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 in the bigger picture, it's taking a step back. You go, well, fuck, what's the biggest issue? Oh, well... Boo hoo hoo! You yeah, all tipped in for property. It fucking it fell over. You don't like each other. You got to sell it to get out, and you're going to make losses. Yeah. Next, that's what happens in property development. You know, um, so the the they're going to sue us and want the share certificates. Fine. There's your share certificates. Now sell them up. Either way, it's involuntary administration. The administrator can issue the share certificates. We'll put it back to him. So he'll be the one that chases the um, 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 the PI insurance of, of of Robert and Nicole. So we'll just go to them. And we'll just turn them on to um, Robert and Nicole, and that's it. So, yeah, it's just going to go from there. Um, yeah, but they want money. They're going to want five or ten thousand bucks as well. Um, so we're going to need PVL really as the cash flow. And then you know, don't forget we've got Tyler's um, Tyler's thing. We you know we <laughs> literally we will be in voluntary administration with our first development, and we're selling the second one. So on stage, I don't know how we're going to get around that one. So yeah, there's a few issues we need to have a discussion about on Tuesday. Um, I'm trying to get Gunnam to the land, well I was, um, maybe PVL, we'll go to the PVL land tomorrow. So Gunnam and um, Zoltan and I are going to be down there tomorrow. So you know what, I I'd, I think they're ideal to have this discussion. So maybe we do have a crisis meeting tomorrow at, um, you know, the, the UKI pub after, um, you know, Zoltan, Gunnam and I can meet for an hour or two. I don't think it's going to take that long. Um, then maybe we all converge there um, and have lunch. What do you reckon? And then we can have the crisis meeting tomorrow. Um, where we can a, actually have it with like Zoltan a joint and, venture and with the, the, in the, the tribe in relation to returning back to tribal ways, cultural ways, um, coming from the heart, do no harm, and respecting the mother, um, the sacred country that we're on. We are on a very sacred um, parcel of land here in northern New South Wales. We have significant um, resources all over it, um, unlimited water, unlimited power, sunshine. Um, it's a community that's being built around the, uh, the town <laughs> that we, we already own, into? which is um, a town by the name of Mount Burrell yeah. here in, again, in northern um, New South Wales. It just we gets are wound up in a fire cell. Um, treaty again, members of the Minjundal tribe, which, um, which was you know, fucking people over and making sure, as the lender, I never lost a cent. Um, I was really good at that shit. Well, this is what we're essentially going to be doing here, and I'll make sure I fuck everyone over on the way through, particularly Mary Lou and Nicole now. So um, our hand has been The forced. reality what, what, is that there's no just choice. because like, the, the British turned up and stuck the stick in the ground with a rag on it, and it wasn't even the rag that everyone thinks it is, 
doesn't mean that they overtook this nation of people that lived here before. And, um, you know, they, the, have no the, they have no jurisdiction and the laws do not. It's not like we have an option. It's, you know, we didn't want to go this way. They have forced our hand. I can see an email's come through from Melissa Hirsch. Ooh, um, yeah, fuck it. We're just going to um, go hard now. And I think a class action uh, with Morris Blackburn and those sorts of things. So um, well, I think it's probably the, the way to go and just basically smash her now, just smash her from every angle and go hard on whatever losses of, um, are realised for the sale of the property, then we need to crack. Um, have a crack at her insurer for any of those losses as well. So we'll just tie her up in, in litigation now forever. Um, this opportunity, we would simply be with the rest of people looking for some type of solution or something to get away from what is coming our way. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's never going back to the way it was. It is all about change, changing our paradigm and changing what we do and having people that, that can see things that we, you know, uh, potentially are, are un unable We need to do probably the VA pretty pretty quickly. I would have thought I'd just tip it over on um, on Wednesday after we speak with everyone on Thursday. Um, yeah, there's there's you know it's it's really the only option for um, for the director. There's no chance of selling anything. Um, it's going to get really fucking ugly with um, <clears throat> the likes of Alan Bartlett and stuff. Um, I guess we could tip his money into the commercial and, you know, just give him a share certificate and that and say, well, we'll sell you out of this one, don't stress. And um, we can say, listen, your money is in Bulla Bulla, but it's caught in there now. But listen, we want to honour that. We'll put your money over here. We'll give you a certificate so you've got something for you as an asset um, for your money. And then we'll, we'll honour that and buy him out within the first sale, inverted commas. Obviously, first sales come back to Mark and Kaz first. And, um, you know, it can go from there. So, um, cash flow though, that's, that's our issue. Like, you know, we've got rent on the office next week. We've got no wages. It's, yeah, that's what's going to kill us. And that's where we will fall over. So, um, we have to, we have to work out what to do there. That's going to be a big issue. Um, if PBL is, a, is crucial, absolutely crucial. So we need to, um, to secure that land tomorrow, come hell or high water and sign it. And then, um, see, Peter won't learn too much about anything because the caveat's been lodged. So, um, you know, unless someone's out there spruiking about it, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really mean anything. I mean, in in in, in the bigger picture, it's taking a step back. You go, well, fuck, what's the biggest issue? Oh, well, boo hoo hoo. You all tipped in for property, it fucking it fell over. You don't like each other. You got to sell it to get out, and you're going to make losses. Yeah, next, that's what happens in property development. You know. Um, so the, the, they're going to sue us and want the share certificates, fine, there's your share certificates, now sell them up. Either way, it's involuntary administration. The administrator can issue the share certificates, we'll put it back to him. So he'll be the one that chases the, um, 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 the PI insurance of, of, of Robert and Nicole. So we'll just go to them and we'll just turn them on to um, Robert and Nicole and that's it. So yeah, it's just going to go from there. Um, yeah, but they want money. They're going to want five or 10,000 bucks as well. Um, so we're going to need PVL really is the cash flow. And then, you know, don't forget, we've got Tyler's, um, Tyler's thing. We, you know, we <laughs> literally, we will be in voluntary administration with our first development and we're selling the second one. So on stage, I don't know how we're going to get around that one. So yeah, there's a few issues we need to have a discussion about on Tuesday. Um, I'm trying to get Gunham to the land. Well, I was, um, maybe PVL, we'll go to the PVL land tomorrow. So Gunham and, um, Zoltan and I are going to be down there tomorrow. So, you know what, I I'd, I think they're ideal to have this discussion. So maybe we do have a crisis meeting tomorrow at, um, you know, the, the UKI pub after, um, you know, Zoltan, Gunnam and I can meet for an hour or two. I don't think it's going to take that long. Um, then maybe we all converge there um, and have lunch. What do you reckon? And then we can have the crisis meeting tomorrow, but we can actually have it with Zoltan and, and Gunnam in, in the midst of it and, you know, Gunnam is, is an amazing legal mind and this is the sort of this is the sort of shit I want to see him, um, yeah, see where he goes with it. So let me know your thoughts. Sorry for the long boxer. I'm thinking as I walk and talk and now I'm going to smoke.